Please be seated. And let's continue with our uh, children's message today. And yes, children, I have these two pictures for you today. Are you guys ready? Yeah? <laughs> All right, we have eyes that are, yeah, that's right, eyes that are shut, eyes that are closed, but eyes that are open. Now, there are things in life that we need, well, I guess my question is for you guys is, when do we need our eyes to be opened? What's a good example of that, Emily or Avery? What do you think? To ride a bike, that's right, I have seen you ride your bike before in the neighborhood, right? Why do you need your eyes opened when you ride the bike? You might crash. Oh, you might crash, right? What else, what's another example of your eyes being opened and why you need that? To do your homework. To do your homework. Do you do your homework eyes closed? No. I guess on the other side, why or when would you have your eyes closed? When you're, sleeping. when you're sleeping, right? Do you need sleep? Yes. Is there any other time that you close your eyes? Good. Confirmation Emily is up to bat. That's very good. <laughs> That's very good. Yes, we pray with our eyes closed and we sleep with our eyes closed. And well, when you hear God's word, which one of these should you have? Are your eyes closed or are your eyes opened? What do you think when you hear God's word? Open. Opened, right? You know, that's the thing. When you, when you hear God's word, this is what is really happening. Our eyes are opened to the living word of God, right? You know, you and I both know how important the word is, right? But yet, we also know sometimes in our sinful nature, what do we do? We close our eyes to God's word, don't we? Uh, sometimes uh, we just get, well, we're so busy with life. Sometimes we just don't want to hear the word. And sometimes we just fall asleep to God's word. Now, that's why right now is so important, because in the Word, the Word opens our eyes to the life-giving message of His Word. And that is, though we are sinners, and that's what the Word also shows us. The Word also gives us the one who answers for that sin. And our eyes are opened by the work of Christ and what He has done for each and every one of you. Trust me, as you guys get older, the eyes they close quicker, right? You don't have as much energy, you're busy with life, and so many times we're distracted with so many things that our eyes close so quickly to the Word of God. And that's why when we're here together, as we hear God's Word, there are our eyes open that Jesus Christ died for you, and that He rose for you, and that He forgives you of all your sins. I want you to remember that this day, knowing full well that by this very Word, you have life in His name, as he opens your eyes to this very faith. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you uh, for your word. Lord, we thank you for uh, blessing us in this time to open our eyes to the life-saving message of Christ. Lord, guide us in the one true faith. Comfort us and, and lead these children always as they grow in your name. Lord, for all these things we are thankful. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's continue 